Um, I guess, so we've talked about the person who gets hurt. Now, some of the fears that I've got are where I've hurt somebody else. Ah, uh, yes. So they are even bigger. And, and I, like, you can take that further and say, well, how does a murderer deal with you know, that kind of stuff? But yeah. I just want to know, what like, because I've hurt some people in my life, yep. and I want to know how to... Is that there a similar process? Yeah, no, no, and it's a very good question. Um, there's an emotion driving it of guilt. Yeah, yep. But it's a very good question, an important question to answer. The the um, it depends on whether you're following the divine love path or the natural love path as to what you do. On the natural love path, with all of the things we've done to harm others, what we're going to have to do is experience the harm that they experienced. Follow me? Mm -hmm. So that's what's, you know, you hear the term, the law of karma. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It's that, we, uh, the spirits in the celestial spheres call it the law of compensation. In that every single thing you created, you will have to compensate for. Right? So that's one way. Um, you think about it from a murderer who murdered a hundred people, point of view, or a thousand, or maybe. 10,000 or maybe 6 million or maybe... Yeah. You imagine mm -hmm. the emotion that they are going to need to experience. Because every single one of those persons had emotions that they went through, pain that they went through, and all of that pain and emotion and everything will be visited on that person. It's a scary proposition, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's one way. So <coughs> let's put that down. That's the law of compensation. <coughs> And ironically, myself, oops, myself and Zenko today had a discussion about this, didn't we? Yeah, it's very good. This exact thing. So, if with the law of conversation, the rules are that you have to keep on dealing, keep on dealing, keep on dealing emotionally, experience all of your emotions about what you created, and by the way, Everything that you created on someone else is an automatic, exactly the same penalty on your soul in that case. So if I murdered one person, all of the pain that they experienced personally and all of the problems that all of their friends experienced dealing with that pain and all of those other things, they, w they will all have to be experienced by me. Now that's the law of compensation. Does that sound quite frightening? Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, that means every single pain you've created in your child will be experienced by you. So when we start pulling it down to even our children, we can see that all of us have quite a lot of this pain, right? So that's one way. The second way, which is a great, there's a greater law called the law divine love. And one of the laws of divine love right, is a law of repentance. You heard of that term? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very biblical term. Mm -hmm. Or you could call it remorse. <gasps> Who attracted that? <laughs> Lights out at 10 o'clock. Oh, oh, yeah. I wonder. Is there a master no, switch? Does that mean we can't override them? Does that mean that when someone goes out that door, the sun is going to go on? I told you we can't. We're going to open the curtains and let some light in. I thought someone was kicking us out. How many of you are feeling tired now? Like, starting to feel a bit I'll answer this one question and I think we might sort of make it the end of it if, uh, if that's convenient for everyone. Of course I'm happy to go all night, but uh, maybe not all night actually, this might need a bit of sleep. And this is a very, very important topic because uh, one, of, one of the qualities of divine love I'll, I'll sit down and yeah. someone else can do it. Wouldn't be the first time you've been arrested anyway, would it? No. <laughs> and 
So this is a very important topic, so let's, uh, let's cover it because it's yeah. important. Um, what happens uh, is that God's mercy, you've all heard the term God's grace. Yes. You've heard that term? Yeah. Grace. Yeah. God's grace is actually activated by a quality in your own soul, and that is the quality of feeling remorse within yourself. So what happens is that instead of having to go through the law of compensation, if you are truly remorseful in your own soul and you actually, you actually long to God for forgiveness and you feel, you're prepared to feel all the pain of everything you've created, then God's love can enter you and take away the causal emotion that created the event. So this is different from um, feeling of guilt. It's a more sort of a yeah, guilt God's is, focused guilt. Guilt is a capping emotion, and if you feel guilt, it doesn't activate God's right. love. Guilt actually helps you do the thing again, actually. Okay. So when you feel guilty, and this is something to understand about your own self in a, in a, in a psychiatric way, I suppose you could say, or a, or a psychological way, when you allow yourself to feel guilt, you're actually paying a penalty of the law of compensation. Mm -hmm. You are not really doing this. True repentance and remorse goes deeper than guilt and goes into the grief and sorrow and pain that you created in others. And you direct that and you allow yourself to experience that and you talk to God about that. And when you do that, God's love will come and actually heal the part of you that was related to why you created that in the first place. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And it's very important to understand that, and this is how, like, spirits in the spirit world get to the sixth sphere by this law of compensation. And many of them take two or three or four thousand years to do that. But there's many spirits on the divine love path who get to the sixth sphere, the same location, but on a different path, who get there in three months. Because they allow themselves to feel these emotions. So that's giving away self-reliance and, and relying on God then, basically. That's right, and relying on God's laws, yeah. having their judgment on me and all those kind of things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So the key is allowing myself to feel those emotions of repentance and remorse, mm -hmm. which are very, very hard emotions to feel because you'll feel terrible with inside of yourself. Sounds like someone's having some fun out there. Maybe we should join them. Sometimes guilt and blame can go hand in hand. Feel guilty, so blame somebody else, and then which allows you to do that. Exactly. Yeah, and those are really, they're all emotions that we'll need to get rid of yeah. at some point. Because, and they are not repentance and remorse. No, actually, feel. I've been in that situation, you feel absolutely wretched. Yeah. Wretched. Wretched. And you may do for days, yeah. or even weeks. Yeah, just for quite a while, yeah. I, I, was, I couldn't put a word to it, I just yeah. feel so wretched about yeah. it all. And when you release it completely, a feeling of peace will come up. Oh, beautiful. You. And you'll also not, whenever somebody talks about that event again, you won't feel any feelings of guilt or shame yeah. or any of those other things. Yeah. You'll know in your heart that it's all completely yeah. resolved. So that's living your truth, acknowledging that, which is your truth anyway, and then working through it and bringing on a, a new truth of healing within yeah. yourself. Like when I went through this with my boys, I've got two sons, you know, 24 and 22, and, and 24 and 22 now. Um, but but um, they were 11 and 13 um, when I went through this process. And what I did was I actually sat down with my two boys and... Uh, and talk to them about all of the damage that I had felt that I'd done to them. Mm -hmm. And I cried through that process. And then for about a month afterwards, I cried as well, just feeling really, really bad. And even now, my boys are now going through emotions that I created within them way back then. Mm -hmm. right? They're still, like one's just going through a breakup of a relationship that I created in a way. Mm -hmm. Because of the emotion that caused him to get together with this girl was the emotion that I created in them when they were young. Mm. Right? So I've had to feel my part in that, in that creation. Mm. Wow. And when you allow yourself to feel it and you direct the feelings of sorrow towards God, what will happen is God's love will enter you 
and remove from you the cause as to why you create that. Wow. Right? And that's a very powerful process. Once the cause is removed from you, you will feel totally different. And you'll feel so totally different that you will no longer even be bothered by those situations again. You will actually, and it won't be because you're ignoring them, you'll be fully connected to them. Mm -hmm. right? So I can stand in front of you and say, I did this damage to my son. Oh, how beautiful. Right? And mm -hmm. I can say I that after having dealt with all the emotion of that as well. Right? So it's about dealing with all the emotion of that and feeling repentant and sorrow and remorse both to my sons, but also to God who was the creator of my boys. Right? Mm -hmm. They're my brothers. My boys are my brothers. And God created them. We were all God's children, so therefore they are God's sons. Mm -hmm. And I was entrusted with them, and I did, and I broke that trust. Right? So I, I've directed a lot of that remorse towards God as well. And as a result of that, the divine love can enter you and actually connects to the reasons why you feel 